Welcome back to Copper Star Precision, the channel dedicated to getting you more points at your competitive shooting matches. Today we're going to go over the October 2023 NRL 22 course of fire. And let's start with the first stage. It is a tank trap stage. It is called Tank Trap Terror. And the stage description is as follows. We have a 12 round stage and it says that on the start signal you will take a position on any tank trap tip and engage the targets from near to far, large to small, with one shot each, and then move to a new position. All tank trap tips must be used, as well as the center. You may pick any position order after shooting from the first tank trap tip. No position can be repeated. There aren't any restrictions on this stage. I will put the target sizes down here like I usually do. Looks like we got a target at 60 yards and 85 yards. And um, basically, just like a lot of tank trap stages, the key to success here is going to be one, time management. It is a 12 round stage. If you only have 10 round magazines, then you should think about where you want to incorporate a mag change. And we get to kind of choose the order. So I'm going to give you a couple strategies that I think help with the flow of things, help th keep things um, nice and easy and simple. And it all depends on how the tank trap is oriented. So the way I have a tank trap oriented here, and it may be different when you get to your match, but essentially there'll always be one leg that kind of slides into the center. And I'm a huge advocate for doing those two positions last. So the second to last position will be this tip, and then you slide into the center. It's just an easy transition. So basically what I would do in this scenario is I'd probably start at the front, then come to here, then this tank trap tip last, and then the center. However, if you're at a match where there's a lot of wind and you need to get a good wind call, generally speaking, most people are more comfortable lower to the ground, so the center tank, center of the tank trap. So maybe you want to start on this tip because you have to start on the tip. Start here and then slide to the middle, getting a little bit more stable, a little bit lower to the ground, a little bit easier to get a stable position. Try and make impacts, and if you do miss, at least you're a little bit more stable here so that you can hopefully get a wind call off your misses so that the other six shots on the last two tips, um, you can hopefully make impacts by correcting for that wind change. So two different strategies there. I usually go with the furthest tip, kind of work in a, either a clockwise or counterclockwise pattern, depending on the orientation. Come up here, slide into the middle. It is a 12 round stage. So for those of you who worry about time management, I would suggest using holdovers. Um, the difference between 60 and 85 yards, uh, just hold over that in your scope, whatever it happens to be for your dope. And essentially, you know, as far as gear and bag selection goes, any of your wedge-shaped bags, here's a uh, pint-sized sticky game changer from Armageddon Getting Gear, usually something like this. You have to be careful with some of the smaller bags, though, because you may not be able to kind of get a good, it may not fill up the center as much, so you may want to go with, this is a full-size game changer. This kind of sits in the center nicely, or you can just drop this here at the beginning of the stage um, and then use the smaller one. I do like this one. I think it, uh, it's, this is a heavier fill. I think it fits over the tips more nicely. So I'll go with that and see how that works. We won't need the bipod, but sometimes I do like to keep this on because it helps with weight distribution, getting the balance of the rifle forward so that when I'm balanced right in front of the magwell, the gun basically sits there by itself and therefore I don't need to impart anything to balance the gun. I don't need to influence the gun to balance it. It's basically, it sits where it is. All I have to do is worry about getting on target, super stable and engage. So we're gonna go with the 60 yard target first. So, and again, another thing I see people do is they start the stage way back here, right? And as long as you're standing all gear in hand, you basically can start anywhere you want. So I would probably, start something like this in this orientation. I'm still standing, have all my gear in hand. I basically start just like this, save as much time on the, there's no reason to waste five seconds running up to the tank trap. So timer goes beep, I'm down there, give this a smack, make sure it's settled. Rifle goes down right in front of the mag well. I'm gonna widen my stance. I'm gonna find the first target at 60 yards. Control the breathing, engage. Now we're using holdovers for the next two targets. And we're gonna hold over for the large target at 85 and the small target at 85. Now, if you do hit the large target at 85, there's a chance that that double hanger will swing the other target. Although time is always, time management is always an important part of these stages. 
you know, wait for the target to settle down before you engage. So after those first three shots, with the rifle pointing in a safe direction, downrange and up, I'm just gonna simply take two steps back. Again, bag down, give it a little shimmy to settle the sand in the bag. Rifle down. Spread legs, using skeletal support, not using muscular support, not bending. Find that first target again, engage. Hold over second target, engage. Third target holding over, engage. You get the idea. We're gonna move down here. Rifle pointed down range, bolt is back whenever we're moving. Bag down, give it a little shake, settle the bag, rifle down. Three shots from this position. And then here, the transition is super easy. Throw the bag this way, same thing. Now here, we can take usually a kneeling position. Again, with the kneeling position, whatever your trigger finger, trigger hand is, I'm right-handed shooter, right knee up. Try and keep the knee uh, as close to 90 degrees as possible. I can use my elbow into my knee for extra rear support. If you're someone who likes to use pump pillows, this would be a position where that pump pillow can help fill the gap and repeat the sequence of three shots. So with all that said, pretty straightforward tank trap stage. Uh, not much to say except plan the order ahead of time. If you wanna do a mag change, I would do it, I would put my rifle down in the center if this is the last position I'm doing before the last three shots. So after shot number nine, I would then drop the mag, conduct the mag change, and then start the string of fire when it comes to um, three shots. Uh, you could wait to the 10th shot here because you are switching targets, but I find it's always better to kind of start a position with a fresh magazine if I needed a mag change during the stage. Because the it is 12 rounds, I wouldn't suggest dialing. I would suggest using holdovers. If you feel like you have time at the last three shots and you feel like your holdovers aren't lining up on your crosshairs, you can, for the last two targets, essentially, you're dialed for the first target, you can then dial up for the last two shots because that's all you have left. You don't have to go back down. So if you're uncomfortable with holdovers, dial, but I think you're better off with a 12 round stage and 120 seconds holding over, saving some time. There is some movement and because the targets are on, the far targets on a double hanger, if you do hit the far target, there's a chance the top one will wobble or the smaller one will wobble and then you'll have to wait. So you're kind of burning a little time there. So holdovers are gonna help with the time management. If these tips and tricks helped you score more points at your match, then let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe. And this is pretty much one of the more straightforward stages in this course of fire. So make sure you're subscribed with notifications enabled because we're going over each of the five stages of the course of fire in future videos. Hope you stay tuned for those. And until I see you next time, as always, score more points.